Starting that. Yeah. No, I don't have an external mic. Put it on her to do this for next year's meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, we need to have these, these little uh, dots. Yeah, oh, I love those things. I, I, I had this one for lectures, and it was pretty cool. You feel so powerful. It's like my voice just booms. Like, is it, uh, what do you call it? Um, Super Sign 3? Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Super Sign 3. I had a lecture of 800 people, and it's amazing that this is best works. Oh, and it's wonderful what it works. Yes, and it's the government afraid to do it. Welcome to the second part of what defines a robot. With our boss, I don't know. I can't pronounce your last name. Nobody can. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, where do you come from? Like, how about you have a photo from? So we're at lots of content. Um, there are lots of monsters, items, locations. Well, I think content is here uh, a lot and not that one. I will, okay. I think it is a, the basic idea is okay, but I would call it something like a, a complexity of the environment. So, it could, yeah, so in contrast to, to part of it, where it's very restricted, uh, the, the, the content or, or the, the, the yeah, the environment and uh, the robot would be so complex that it's um, few, few fetish guys. It's a uh, uh, many fold into person. Change from inside. Multiple Multiple like game. Uh, we have lots of content in terms of lots of different monsters and intrinsics and resists and so forth. But uh, it's not like they focused on complexity of that. Uh, uh, I, I, I think you I, would, have, I would say you lost some dimensions. That's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I think I think we, I think there's a tendency, uh, at least with myself, to always think of no life being in a hack life family. Oh, who? Cool. Discounting it just because I personally don't enjoy it very much. But that does not mean it's not a. I think it's part of the genre. I would say the toss of content, lots of content, or diversity, or multi-patterns, or how you, how you want to, to uh, phrase it, is probably a definition of a good word, right? but I wouldn't say it's a definition of a word. Rogue didn't have that much content. It had 24 monsters. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. but, 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 but I, I still think we should be able to uh, to somehow use content in order to, to separate say rogue from puzzle game. But puzzle games send out lots of content. Like they tend to have more levels than you get. No, just take like one level puzzle game, just one level. That's what kind of way it is. No, 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 the possibility to blow up the pieces in that piece or to change the shape mm -hmm. or to mirror them, it doesn't make it any closer to a robot. It makes it a more complicated breakout game, the more complicated it's a Tetris game. Yeah. On the other hand, if you take half of the monsters from Rock, it's still Rock. Yes. Most players only see if the monster <laughs> tries to kill <laughs> <make> it. <laughs> okay, so okay, so what commercial game? Okay, but this suggested that, that, that the topic, that, 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 that the point, lots of content is to be moved. Please move further. I think I move. I think I move because I, I think it's a good point. It's, it's a good thing for a robot to have, but it's not at all a defining character. In particular, I mean, if you start calling a robot and you have a very little, it would, it would still, so that, that, that would not be the point I was looking But if you can compare the robot likes to uh, commercial things, or so if you really see that there are really a lot of monsters, right? the, if you have commercial game, they, they create a lot of graphics for every monster, have really uh, put a lot of effort to create one monster. I don't think so. If you have a graphical roadline, you would you yeah. have to restrict yourself to a few yeah. monsters. How it's how it's great great monsters than most, just like Letterhunt has more monsters than Powder because I just, 
letter the alphabet with the new definition. Mr. Green has a decent amount of, 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 of monsters, so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure you can really compare them in, in, in any of the two ways. I think it's in, incomparable. But look at the role playing games, commercial role playing games. Yes. They have hundreds of monsters. Yes. And, and so, okay, let's move it. <laughs>
version there are robots and no blood, just some flashes. That was my Okay, I have no The game gets hard very quick, and you are very unlikely to win until you have acquired enough experience. This is not a stealth of it. Well, it is common on all the big robots. I, I, I would say at the very least, if it isn't, if it isn't the least, then it's in the right place, because it's definitely low value. Yes, but the, the question of is if the value is a factor at all or not. Yeah, I think Yeah, I mean, when I mean you only did once, it's sort of got the opposite idea where like you can die multiple times with my intention is every time you die you came back some more powerful characters so you could hopefully win uh, by the end. You win once. Uh quite big. <laughs> and so so that so the idea was Of course that, I died on purpose just to know what Just to see the different different storylines, yes. <laughs> I was careful in text files that I put in uh, for the cases you can't talk to the people because they're dead if you actually get to that point. There's like random stuff that says crazy stuff in the game that contradicts the actual story. <laughs> so people just try and read the text files and they get very confused. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. Uh, uh, the problem is there's actually two, two different points in it. The one is um, the game gets fast quick, and the other one is um, if you need to, to, to accumulate experience in order to win. There's two different points. In fact, it's got to be separated. You are learning with the game. The game teaches you something. This is, this is true. I think, I think one of the role is, uh, I think the role takes good, good in general be, uh, of the type that, that, that we, have to, we have to learn something about tactics and strategy in the game we want to, to get to I, I don't want to qualify it as learning about tactics and strategy then, because almost all games are learning something. You know, the, the game where you have to pick the right door five times in a row, you're about learning. But what about tactics and strategy? I know it's not tactics and strategy, mm -hmm. that's why I think maybe this should be clarified. Is it? So it's like um, acquired enough experience. It's not not like a like a standard shoot 'em up where I need to learn the pack. It's like that's acquired experience, but right? that's not the experience we're trying to talk about. We're talking more about tactical experience. Yeah. Actually, and and many people actually have to um, we have to we find find the to do it because it, 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 it's not just about um, memorizing the and it's kind of also to find one way how to how to do it. But of course, yes, I, I think this, this, this leading and it should be that broken, but the two, two parts divided. And which, which of these two parts uh, belong on the long, on the low value factors? I think the game gets very hard, and it, it, it's not, it, I, don't, I don't think this is really, really needed, I mean. First of all, it's the debate. I wanted, I wanted to ask us this uh, in the beginning, but I forgot. Um, this definition should it um, fulfill the purpose to um, help roguelike developers to, to see how roguelike is my game or to measure roguelikes or for new roguelike players to or for new players who come to this website and didn't ever play a roguelike, didn't ever see a screenshot and look at this description well, because I think um, they should know that roguelikes are always, most of the roguelikes are very hard. I, I actually would not try to address new players and new players would play the game. Yeah. I, I think this is, this is about either for designers or for, yeah. or for theorists. Like this is not for new kids. For no, people really who can't come and start trying to start a play war about what a road like yeah. is. No, so we can point them here. For, for, for example, I think, I think it would be very much feasible to make, to make a soft road like this. It's just, just easy, easy going. So, and, 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 and you still have to become better and you still have to put on this. But it's just easy going, and that would still be a like so that. I, I like to claim power as a soft rope, like it's definitely softer than crawl or net half in my opinion, because I can at least win it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that actually advantage is pretty soft. Okay. You can you can go slowly and yeah. then it, it of course it is pretty boring. And actually I, I think that the, the difficulty you mentioned this is probably not uh, by by becoming hard quick, but just by by um by the permanent. This is this is what uh, what, what will yeah. what will be the strange um, experience for for new players and this we already mentioned. Yeah. 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 So I would I would just remove this and get hard very quick and just try to say that you somehow have to. Um, you have to learn about the tactics and strategy before you can make any yes. progress. I mean perhaps it is, it is worth to setting this um um um. um, um, um 
Based experience, this, this thing to say is solving puzzles. It's, it's, yeah. a different, it's a different type of, the, of experience. This, this may be worth it. Well, it's what solving time? puzzles, but it's solving puzzles not by like cheat sheets, but by the way you should solve puzzles, right? Yes, there's a difference, difference between studying my physics than by memorizing the answers to the, yep. the essay, I mean, quiz that I stole or something, versus doing a hundred problems myself so that when I get to the real exam, and the true, 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 I can do the problems. Yep. You know, in both cases, I've sort of solved the puzzle by yep. learning different things. Yep. It's like we're talking about the, you do a hundred puzzles, so when you see this brand new puzzle we've never seen before, well, you know that type because you've done a hundred more like it, so you can solve yep. it. Yep. So, I mean, so, so the guy who, 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 who takes the, the title and the content and the, to do something that gets better, what's the good idea? I have something like this. You have to learn about the tactics of transition before you can learn in a significant progress. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, of course, I, I don't think that a role that necessarily has to have strategy, but I think the tactics is okay. Strong, but if you have a player, I think uh, generally speaking, yeah. it's correct. 
Es, also dieses Gewalt, aber I like to point out, that in, in, in contrast to, to, to other games with, with kind of like Felsen games, with diplomacy, um, there's kind of only, only two factions, you and the monsters. And, um, and, 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 and the monsters won't want you, I mean, you can do this, in some games do this, but it's rare. Um, the monsters won't fight each other, they will fight you. So this is... There's, there's pets, for example, which is monsters that decide to be totally allied with you. And there's, you know, like mice or whatever that completely ignore you or whatnot. What, 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 what? So I'm, 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 I'm trying to do set of roguelikes to other genres. To, to other and there are genres where, for example, the, the elves and the orcs would not, not decide to, uh, to, 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 to work together to kill you, but, but they, they had stronger opinions on their own. In a roguelike, they are, they are, they are uh, only opinions to, to kill you, unless, unless you are affecting them in a way that, 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 that does not let that them would like harm them. Do you see what I mean? This is, this is, so, all, all, all the, the monster hood and the, the roguelike is, is, is there to kill you, and you can do something, you can, you can, you can, you, you can face it off, you can, uh, you, you can harm them. But, but this is, this is one huge group of monsters and all of them are set up. But they're to kill. Hmm? Default, default is to kill, yes. Yeah, that's true, that's true, but that's just an artifact in the chosen, chosen game. It's not at all. It's not at all. It's not like saying the doors, it's like saying the doors in the roguelike are there to kill you. It's like, yes, they are there to kill you. Doors? The doors, yeah. The, the doors that have to open and have a trap. The doors are there to save you. No, it's like, no, they're, they're, they're there to kill you. They don't want to save you, though. They're, they're, they occasionally don't open when I try and open the door, which is to try and kill you. It's no, like, no, no. just like monsters, for example, might save you. I might dodge behind a monster, and then he gets in the way of a big guy that's trying to attack me, and I get saved. That wasn't the intention of that monster. That was me being clever to get it saved. So, what I think you're trying to say is the whole game is trying to kill you, which is true. No, 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 so they're very different. No, they're, 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 uh, they are uh, games of other kinds where it's all and NPCs which are acting on their own, where, where the where the um, monster monster interaction is much more so without the player is much more much more interesting because because the, the monsters have kind of so many many computer role playing games are doing this uh, have kind of, of, of motivations on their own, like like killing something or collecting something or not, not killing anyone. And in a role play, the, 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 the basic the basic goal of the monster is to kill you. And no, but uh, that's when you show up and start killing everything that's fast. Of course, that's the basic goal. Maybe you could uh, tell us some example of a game that you would play to exclude with us, which is Well, I, I didn't play so many games in my life. For example, in Wizard Train, the other parties would, uh, would, would try to do just to, to the same as you. Then there would, there would be like seven different races. Not all of them would, would, would uh, some of them would fight each other. And you could just come to the side and there was a fight going on. Some of them would tolerate each other. In, 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 in the course of the game, the um, diplomatic notions could, um, could, 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 could change. So there's, there's a whole a lot more going on just among monsters than in the world. In the world, in the world is very, very simple. And it's this you versus them. No, no. That's not yeah, the sound. Yeah, it sounds. It's a hard place. It's a red thing. That's what this way. If you take the game that you think is 100% broke, like, yeah. uh, which game it could be. And you would change, you would, you would change the. You add the orcs versus elves patch to Netta, right? Yeah. yeah. The orcs and elves will start fighting each other rather than ignoring each other at all. What, what, yes, you could do it, but, but there's this very, very dynamic because it's, it's, that's very, very little to the school of all play. That's what I'm saying. I, I think it is, in the assumption, it's essential. It, 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 it does matter if you do it, but it's really important that, uh, for some sense, it's really important that, uh, that you, you are the one. It, 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 it's a power thing. You are the one hero, you know, and, 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 and they are out to, 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 to destroy you. And you could add, you could add that, 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 that there's more complicated relations. That, that, that. You can add it to the same character. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. I, 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 think, I, think, I, I think I'm now understanding what you're getting at. Okay. Because I was being caught up in the details of, like, well, my mice ignore you and run around the dungeon. They don't try and attack you. But like early on in power, I had a lot of monsters fighting each other, and I actually turned most of that off. Yeah. And went to a lot of work to have them not pick fights with each other. Yeah. Precisely because it, it's not as good a game as when all the monsters fight. Right? Yeah, you feel ignored. Yeah. You walk in the room and see like this, this, these dragons and these orcs, and they're all busy beating each other up. You sort of stand by the stand by. Get out! Get out! You had the floor. You finish off the final one. It's like pick up the loot. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and that part is what I'm saying. You could try to edit and it would probably work in games, but this is not what a roguelike is about. Yeah. So the, the basic roguelike is, 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 is not about monster have, monster stuff. I think have, he's, he's right. We have summoners, so it would be crawl or... Yes, I, I, I know all of this, but, 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 but you are ignoring it. This is not a point. I like, I like the point very much because implementation-wise, I think it's often... It's a beautiful 
like this, I don't know, in Crawl, we, are, we have the specialist here. Is it, is it the same class or do you derive from the same class? Um, I think they were original and something completely different. Yeah. And then uh, sometime, I don't know, it might even have been before when uh, they started to rewrite the monsters to, to, the, to an actor class and make yeah. uh, and it both play on the monsters, something like you did from the beginning. And um, I, I agree with the point. The point is okay. The point is saying that on a technical level, then the, the the, 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 the monster acts like I did play, this is okay. But I say that on a global level, the, 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 the monster, the, the, this stuff comes some, some, some different. And if he's doing it very well, you are doing it. <laughs> you just got it. I think you put it, you added it to it's the single player. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. the player is the same way around play. Yes, as player versus world, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And of course, as a summoner, you can, you can take um, um, part of, of, of the stuff that was forced at you and, and, and you, you, you can corrupt it and make them work for you. But, but it's, essentially, it is still you versus the world. Alright, so the, the case of a possessor, when you actually take the body or pretty much the stuff from the creature and in fact uh, control the movement around. Still, we affect it. So, so not good. Yeah, the sentence, um, the yeah. but in most cases, it's still you against the world. It is, um, um, he has yeah. added it to the single player. Actually, I think, I think this is, this is, this is, this is, actually, this, this would help a lot in the single player um, line because this is what meant by single player. You, you are one, you, you could be a party of four, but this is, you, 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 you have one point of control. Yes, one point of control and, and, and the world against you. In Tome, I had some sort of cloud of uh, dragons that fall for me and so on. Yes, but you have to do something for this one. Yeah. Not much. <laughs> no, not much. <laughs> when you play as a Chromancer, put the table yeah, down. Yeah, it's not a Chromancer. I think it's a basic scope. I mean, there are games which are much, yeah. much more focused about the um, um, relationship of, 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 of monster groups between them, but it's all not what, what, what the role play is about. But then it turns into a very nice strategy. Yes, it's a role playing game. Yes, exactly. You can get a letter and then they, that results. Yeah, big one. Well, if you have a game with diplomacy, where you, can, you pay money and then that tax will like you, you pay money to the, to the walking and then all walks will be you know, um, neutral. Yeah. You could have this, but it's not what you expect all the time. So, example, in my game, you do have many allies, but that's actually a point which makes me feel that it's not the role. Exactly, exactly. Yes, it's the, 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 the fact that just one person in this huge army fighting another yeah. huge army is a very non role like I guess. Yeah. Even though it would be a cool game. <laughs> yes, of course, yes, but, but I, 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 I wasn't talking to I think we have to settle this. Okay, that's good. Um, the last point? His character versus his play. Uh, this is a point that uh, started many, many play wars on news groups and other places. Uh, I think we should replace it with discretization of space. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have the time, so we have the time. Actually, I think uh, although it would uh, fit, uh, would fit uh, what, what we did until now, I think this point should be handled differently because. Even though it would appear at first that this is not an intrinsic uh, characteristic of a roguelike because, because uh, so many games have, uh, have tiles or have different modes of operations that aren't character-based. Um, when you think about, about uh, character-based games, I think the first example that you think of are roguelikes. And I think that, uh, and the active track section and vice versa. Uh, yeah. 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 Because what we're trying to say there when we say it can be represented by loss information ASCII is it can be presented on a grid. Yes, exactly. But I, 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 I know. I'm just trying to 
to, 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 to get a, a horse race, then somehow uh, has the ASCII in it. So I think it's, it's no, I don't think, think it should have ASCII in it. Yes, yeah, either way. That, 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 makes, that makes people think of, that makes people think of like fixed point fonts with all of your stuff having to line up precisely, no ability for overlays, different colors, uh, you know, putting little health bars beside the characters, or you know, have animation type stuff. You know, something can become important in a way to be to the play of the game, but not uh, like in terms of how it presents the details. Yes, of course, yes, but yes, but I think it doesn't really matter if you say good base or good <coughs> ASCII. I think it's, it's the same. It's the same. Well, the power can't be presented in ASCII. It could. No. Why not? With ASCII, you don't know. If there's a staircase with a corpse. Yes, but, but you, you could take an X7 comment and just look at it. I could explain just some text adventure more with an exam command, right? Yes, I, I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, yes, of course, you could. But I'm pretty sure, I mean, you could ask it fine. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, and then the, the characters, the tiles on the screen are twice the size of the characters on the, on the prompt type stuff. And so stuff doesn't fit properly if you try and throw it into an ASCII type situation unless you can do double sized character. Yeah, but, but that's, that's, that's technical limitation. I, I don't think that's technical limitation of having a game on, on the Game Boy. I don't think it has uh, something to do with that this uh, defines what we're going to Yeah, but that's the thing. Yeah, but that's the thing. Yeah, but that's the thing. Yeah, but was made so that it could fit into ASCII. We should also remember that this is considered a um, low, low value practice. Yeah. But, no, but I think it's a very, I think it strikes an important chord, which is why I don't want to get so, it away. Then it, but I think it's just we get caught up. Because I personally think if the people at Road Times could remap their character set, they would have. They would have replaced the A's, well maybe not necessarily, but they would have replaced the dungeon tiles and dungeon walls. The first thing they did in that hat practically is simply to get the idea of graphics, right? So you can actually get nice nice lines for the walls. Well that's definitely not asking, but did that make it at all less of a roguelike when they had nice nice lines for the walls? No, that made it I think, better I think that yes, the, the idea of 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 of, um, of, of a looting where the game can be played in the text mode. Um, I think it, it has two two important Connotions. The one is it is played on a grid, and the other one is you only need a, a handful of symbols in order to display everything. Mm -hmm. Of course, you, you can do this thing just well using the word ASCII, but perhaps it is useful to use the word ASCII because so many games are played on tablet in ASCII. So I, 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 I don't think I mean, it could go other way, but I think these are the two important things. Yeah, so yes. yeah. We can add a, a new rule about grid bases about playing grid bases, and we should, I, I think we should put it somewhere higher. Okay, yes, it is. It's for targets. And we can just leave that rule as as device of display because it is a traditional drop like yeah, the low level. level. Yeah, I agree with that. And put the ASCII feed low level and grid based uh, some, somewhere high. Okay. Okay. Grid based uh, by X grids. Yeah. Well, it's just it's grid. Grid. Yeah. <laughs> it's As long as it's discrete. Uh, Discrete, um, approximately one character per discrete number. This is a book. Yes. That would be what I call the base. One character per tile. So it could be square tiles, hexagonal tiles, you know, pentagonal tiles, where it could be a space basically it's also picked up as a ground ground. Of course, many strategy games are doing just this way. And of course, many strategy games have to play in ASCII, but there was an empire, empire in, in ASCII because it has got so long. I mean, this is this is um, a good introduction to the discussion we had yesterday with, with, with Mario. Um, um, I don't think that that playing ASCII is just a limitation. For, for me, I think it's, uh, it, it makes matters easier. So, um, so, so I, I could I could I could imagine that, if, for example, the, the, the um, rogue guys would have written a game in a graphical way, that somebody would have come up with the with the ASCII that is after. Just because it's easy to play and easy on the talent and so on, so, so that, that, that could, could have really happen, so I don't think it is that much of a clue. By the way, um, am I the only one who finds it aesthetically pleasing? Because um, the only only reason I got to look like was uh, seeing a screenshot of Aiden. I, I didn't like the description at all, but I thought I have to play this game. 
just looks great. Not not that you can see it more for I like the simplicity. I, I don't I don't like that I can see everything. It just looks good. It, it, but I like it the looks like a it has a novel development for people that haven't played the yeah. game. I like I like the madness of playing a game with us. I had uh, for for a long time I, I tried just the game that was made in uh, 80 by 40 uh, resolution the role like games because the font just looked nicer. Yeah. The, the, it was more square and, and it used the old uh, uh, yeah. font uh, from, from back from those where like, the letters with the A was rounded at the top and, then, <laughs> and these little details that just made, made it look better. Yeah. So it, it is the trees in Adam are appalling for me. Because I, I like when trees are represented with an asterisk. Then, uh, yeah. then the, the forest looks yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. Well, well, what did you see? My trees. Did you see my trees? They're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I always have taken computer vision as, a, as something rather, so I don't know how to do this. Yeah. But this is 
the big part of progress. Uh, and I'm going to start asking you. Uh, I have to you listen you for my say. Oh, oh. I can leave those logs uh, here, but I have to take my laptop. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. I have to. This was fun. <laughs> I had my. Uh, ah, no, yes. so, uh, yeah, so that I don't miss my train. Thank you, everyone. For the gig. Thank you. Yeah, for the great discussion. discussion. Yeah, might as well.